again. My name's Tony Hilliard. Today we're going to have a look at our friend's Citroen C1. This is a little French car which has got a tailgate made of glass. Uh, my friend came out in the morning and so quite often opened the tailgate, puddle of water in the boot. Not good. So we'll have a look at it, see how we get on. This is the little C1. Pretty little car. This one's an automatic, as it happens. Inside I've put some clean brown paper, so any leaks, drips, we can see what's going on. This is probably the area where it's leaking. This is the existing seal, which doesn't look very healthy. So, first things first, let's see if we can get as much water on the top of that as possible. See if we can find the leaks. No, nothing there so far. A bit more water. What have we got here? Left hand corner, water. Right hand corner, water. But it's not leaking, it's coming off the underside of the tailgate. Bad design here. I think there's going to be some very rusty C1s in the future if it keeps filling up with water like that. In the centre, no water. Very curious. My friend said they, the leak seemed to be in the middle. Right, this is the water dripping off the tailgate when you open it. Straight into the corner. Right, clean it all off with the airline. Dry it all off as much as possible. Clean out the rubber seal. I'm going to clean everything with acetone, make sure it's absolutely clean before we put any mastic or sealant on it. It's got to be absolutely perfect. Where the panels join and welded, that's quite often where they tend to leak. That's with most cars. Right, this is acrylic sealer. White, of course, to match. About acrylic is easy to use. If you use silicone, if for any reason you've got to take it back off again, it is a nightmare. So acrylic, acrylic's the one to go for. Make sure we're really covered. Right, now put a, a decent, decent layer on so that when we put the rubber seal on, that will squish right inside the seal and make a good joint. Steady hand, essential, otherwise you end up with the stuff all up your arms. Right, now push it back on firmly. This is a rubber hammer by the way, and I put some masking tape on there so there are no marks on anywhere from the hammer. Clean up the corner, one little corner where she squished out a bit. Right, this is two hours later, let the, the uh, sealer go off. Bit in the corners, as you'd expect from the, ah, what do we got here? It Right in the middle, where my friend said. So where's it coming from? That is damp under the middle. Well, it's not getting past the seal. This is where the wiring goes for the high level brake light. Huh, that is supposed to be a tight grommet. Look at that. No wonder there's algae building up around the back of it. All the other grommets are quite nice, but this one, not good. Not good at all. And this is what the inside of the headlining looks like, where the water's been soaking through. So it's obviously been coming in through that grommet, down the back of the headlining, and then into the car. Listen to that, that's supposed to be a tight joint. I'm not impressed. Well, that was interesting. Hope you found that useful. Until next time, cheerio!